The second Saturday in February is Fort Lowell Day, yes, but it is also La Reunión de El Fuerte, the reunion of the village of El Fuerte. When it was decommissioned in 1893, the fort building's valuable timbers, along with windows and door frames, were auctioned off. The rest was abandoned and left to deteriorate, but not for long. The availability of water. In the desert, it's always about the water, attracted settlers from northern Mexico who settled in and around the old fort. After fixing up some of the abandoned buildings, the farming and ranching community of El Fuerte was firmly established. New homes were built, sometimes using salvaged materials from the old fort. El Fuerte thrived, and its people married and raised families and went to school and church. El Fuerte imprinted itself on its inhabitants, and vice versa. That's why they're called Fuerteños. When the water table dropped, farming dried up, and people drifted away for work elsewhere, but not everyone. Over the decades, the city of Tucson expanded to encompass El Fuerte, and it morphed into the old Fort Lowell neighborhood. La Reunión brings the Fuerteños and their descendants back each year for nostalgia, remembrance, and recollection. My mom was uh, from Fort Lowell. She was born and raised here. Ramona and Virgie. They're sisters. Mm -hmm. And the Romeros? The, the, the Romeros. The Romeros uh -huh. These are all people that, um, that lived in Fort Lowell. Isn't and as... This? The, my dear Katie. Dear uh -huh. Katie, she just passed away last week. Mm -hmm. Dear Katie. And Ben Ochoa. Uh -huh. Ben Ochoa, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're all related. A special invitation-only mass is one of the Forteño highlights as La Reunión del Fuerte transitions to Fort Lowell Day.